The Senate has revealed that the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, mismanaged over 1 trillion naira within the last five years without commissariate projects to account for the funds. The Senate, while receiving the report of the ad hoc committee investigating the alleged financial recklessness in the commission from the committee chairman, Senator Olubumi Ade Tokumbi, during plenary says it is shocked at the level of financial mismanagement within the commission. I wonder how could this type of financial operations be happening in an organization with internal controls and internal audit process. We found out that um, the audit system within the NDC is very weak and complicit, and even the external audit report that we received is, contains virtually no information for such an organization. One trillion in five years. One trillion and 34 billion in four, four, five years, 2015 to 2020. How can you explain this expenditure of 80 billion? 80 billion during, in, 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 during, during, during four months of pandemic. How can you explain that? And you expect us to be happy with you? We cannot be happy. That's why, Mr. President, it is better we say the right thing. No matter whose ox is uh, is God. I expect to see a massive protest over this over this uh, fraud in the Niger Delta uh, Development Commission. But yet nothing is happening because everybody is waiting for his own opportunity. If it comes by me, this is my own time. Let me also loot. And all the people involved in this act are people of the Niger Delta. $3.2 billion for medicals. I mean, you can't explain to me, Mr. President. This is terrible. And I'm happy that those who are charged with this responsibility are in people of Niger Delta. They are no northern Nadia or people of Southwest. So you expect them to be extremely patriotic and committed to the well-being of their people. It is painful to see Niger Delta people in penury. And you gave them responsibility over a trillion naira when down the drain. Who are you going to hold responsible? Will you say President Buhari has not been fair and just 81 billion in six months? And that's going to show for it. Those that have been given the responsibility to manage the resources of the NDDC and for the people of the Niger Delta have squandered most of the resources, leaving the region poor and in a very difficult situation. It is our opinion in the National Assembly, particularly in the Senate that this report has exposed the inefficiencies, the, 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 the kind of corruption in the, in, the, in the NDDC. I am sure that our report will receive the kind of attention that we all desire and expect. Joining us now is Alistair Wilkos, Public Affairs Analyst. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be with you. What is your take on this call for the dissolution, uh, dissolution rather, of the IMC? Well, uh, I can understand why the Senate is angry. The Senate uh, is expressing the expression of most Nigerians. Because I can tell you for free, uh, most Nigerians are very angry as to what is happening uh, in the NDDC. And it's a shame. It's a rape on democracy. It's a rape on anything that is called sanity. If anybody has sanity in his mind, what's happening in NDDC is a shame and a rape on that, uh, in, 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 on, on whatever it could be called. Um, I'm not surprised that the Senate is asking for the resolution of the IMC. As a matter of fact, the President should not have waited for the Senate to ask for it. While, while this explosion is going on, the first that should have happened is for the IMC to give way. Not just the IMC, but the entire management structure of NDDC. Because look, it's not only the political heads that are still in NDDC. The entire bureaucracy, the entire management structure of NDDC is rotting and is thinking. So the, the IMC must have given way by now. As a matter of fact, the minister itself should have given way because he has, he has been fingered in most of the 30 deals in, in, in NDDC. So every, there, there should be a, a, a bottom-up approach in sanitizing NDDC. So, the NMC is not alone, but they should have gone by now. So I'm comfortable with that call, and I want the president to implement that call immediately. 
let the entire IMC give way, the entire management structure to give way for that to be a fresh a, 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 a fresh bread into into NDDC. Uh, let's talk about the monies that um, this, uh, they are saying uh, was expended without due process, and the, the, it's actually humongous uh, by any standard. Do you see a situation where this money will be refunded, especially when we know that it has been spent? Is it um, an exercise in futility asking that the money should be refunded? Well, look, NDDC has broken every known law. NDDC operation has broken any known law in Nigeria. They operate outside the budget. They, they operate beyond the budget. They, 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 have, uh, they have jettisoned the procurement processes. Nobody in N no, no, but no project in NDC follows any known law. Therefore, the force must be made. As, as now, the position that 1.6 billion was spent on the COVID, COVID relief to workers, I think by now they should have started from that money. That should have been the first step. I understand that some workers got as much as 3 million, some 1.5, some 1 million, that even messengers, cleaners, got 600,000 as COVID relief. This must have been refunded by now. If you've spent it, you've not spent it, they, they should have been given one week to refund this money because it's illegal. And, and then whatever money that has been illegally taken out through contract, contract splitting and all what else, should be meant to be refunded. I don't know why the people that are, that are fingered in this matter are still sitting down comfortably. By now, there should have been some, some, some things happening that we should have been seeing money referred to NDDC. Um, Mr. Mr. Million, Wilkers, the one I, that we are all aware, should be refunded fully to the covers of NDDC. Uh, Mr. Wilkers, not to be a clog in, uh, um, uh, in the wheel, I want to ask this part of the question that the Senate and the, ho the House of Representatives make advisories, they make recommendation. Uh, the honest lies with the president to decide what to do going forward going by what is being described as the body language of the president with other recommendations from the Ninth Senate, do you think that he will um, take this and run with it? Or will this fizzle out like every other thing um, in, the, in the past months? Well, uh, you are right. Uh, Hello, Mr. Wilkos. Mr. Wilkers, uh, are you there? I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, I can just hear you. Uh, recap what yes. you were saying because the line was uh, okay, uh, breaking. Okay, so what I'm, what I'm saying in a sense is that the president uh, uh, does not tolerate corruption, and it is with one president that will not sit aloof and watch the the the, 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 the common patrimony of the people being filtered by a few. No, he will not do that. There may be areas where he will not want to act with respect to the resolution of National Assembly. But this is a, an outcry. Remember, he ordered the forensic audit. I remember that, I remember also, when a, a group of National Delta leaders went to visit him, and he said something. He said, the over 15 trillion that has been spent in National Delta must be accounted for. So he ordered the forensic audit. So if these expositions are coming to light, and the state has helped him to, to fast track his job, I don't think it, it, will, it will be swept under the carpet. Yeah, there may be powerful interest, there may be powerful hands that will be trying as much as possible to scuffle this process. But I can tell you for free, if this president is simple, I know he has to resort to corruption and he will not shield anybody because nobody shared the money with him, nobody do the deal with him, and he will never do a deal with anybody. So those who have been fingered, they should be proud to face the full wrath of the law. All right, the Mr. Lester Wilkers. And they will all dance to the music and end this will be sanitized.